This video has swearing and scenes of a dark nature. It is not safe for work. This video was made for the Contagion Contest, so please enjoy and click the like button if you like our work. Forever whom reads this guide based on my experience with the infected, this will give you a better chance of surviving. I'm not sure how it began, but my first, my first encounter, encounter with them was on a bus. It was just like any other night, I was heading home, and one of the passengers leapt up and enraged. She took out the bus driver and shoved her thumbs in his eyes. And Half the passengers were dead, mutilated. When I emerged from the wreckage, the city was empty. I went to the police station looking for help, there was no one there. I heard gunshots and ran towards them thinking it would be cops, but when I got there, there were guys in radiation suits gunning people down. You bastards! She wasn't infected! What? What are you doing? No! At that point, I knew it was on my own. I found an old subway station, completely blocked off. I must have been down there two, maybe three days, sealing off entrances. I was running out of food and water, so I headed out to the nearest gas station, hoping there would be supplies, maybe weapons. As I was scavenging for food, one of those things appeared. I couldn't escape it as it was between me and the door. I looked for a weapon and found a wrench, and I broke both his legs. But then it still came at me. I found out any trauma to the head kills them instantly. Axes. Hammers, bats, knives, all good for getting the job done. Weeks went by from where those things were being in the streets, in parks, and suburbs. I learned that being silent and hiding in the shadows does the job if you want to get to places without being attacked. I don't think they can smell you, but they can definitely see and hear you. There are three different types of infected. I like to call them walkers, sprinters, and crawlers. Walkers are slow, stupid, and easy to avoid. Sprinters, on the other hand, are a different matter. They're much faster, and harder to land a hit, especially if they're not running straight at you. If you play your cards right, stay in the dark, you can a whole bunch of them. Crawlers. Sneaky bastards. They hide behind doors, dustbins, you name it, places you wouldn't think to look. You gotta be careful with these guys. One bite, one scratch, and you can be infected. Moving on to firearms. Guns are okay, but they make noise, giving away your position not only to the horde, but people too. Make sure you have plenty of ammo for your weapons. Pistols are quick and easy to use. And if you're a great headshot, that's all you'll ever need. Automatic weapons are powerful, but they eat through ammo pretty quickly. Don't spread it. Just tap the trigger lightly, fire off one, maybe two at a time, and you'll be fine. 
Shotguns are fucking loud. They're very powerful, especially if you're in a horde. Make sure you aim for the head and the chest. Don't shoot them in the legs. If you shoot them in the legs, make sure to double tap. Make sure you get in the head. You don't want a zombie crawling up behind you and grabbing your nuts when you're not aware. Snipers and rifles are great for distance, but make sure you get the shot though. They're pretty loud. You also need to be carrying a weapon that you can reload quickly. If you're trapped in a horde with just a revolver, things are gonna get messy pretty quickly. The infected aren't the worst things out there. It's other survivors. Some are out to kill you and take everything you carry. Others will try to help you and probably get you killed. My first encounter with a survivor was in a tool store. I was kinda jumpy, and it didn't help that the guy creeped me out. Alright, stop what you're doing, turn the fuck around. Whoa! <laughs> hey now, I'm on your side. Just do what you're fucking told. Carry any guns? Just chill. I only have an axe. Don't carry no guns. Oh yeah? Yeah. Alright, sorry about that. You know how it is out there. Who you with? Been on my own since it started. You should come back with me. We have a base full of people and supplies. More survivors? What are we waiting for? Let's go. <laughs> Shit, son. You nearly blew my head off. Yeah, you're welcome. Sounds like a woman. Someone, Best not Help. to get involved. What? No. What the fuck's wrong with you? Back off. Please. Oh god. Someone Hold still. Help me! Oh god. Thank you. The girl came along with us. We took what we could and moved on. We eventually got to the survivor base as he called it. It was an old subway station, a bit like my own, but I didn't see many people. Hey, where is this base? The base is up here. Should have shot you when you had a chance. Ugh. Mm. <sighs> oh, the fuck. Ah, oh, shit. Ah, oh, shit. Shit, 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 shit. Did you, Did you sleep well? with that mouth? Uh, what the fuck are you doing to her? Mm, sounds like your friend is enjoying her new home. <laughs> what? I didn't give any orders to kill her. Go, make sure everything's alright. that we are alone. How about we stick you like a pig? Oh, ladies and gentlemen, we have a fighter. I'm going to enjoy this. You fucking make me sick. I, I don't know what to do. Just fucking pull it out. Should, should I pull yeah, it out? Yeah, just do it. Okay. Let's get you out of this chair. Okay, thanks. Okay, meet me back at the train. Okay, but what about you? I got shit I gotta take care of. Damn, 
That girl we brought back sure got an ass. Yeah, I hear you. You think the new kid'll join? Nah. Boss stopped picking up muscle three days ago. He'll be dead by tomorrow. <laughs> Shit. Jimmy? I hear gunfire! Ah, shit! Both made it back to the city, only to find it mobbed with the infected. Okay, okay. This looks bad. I need you to listen to me, okay? We need to stick together and fight our way out. Shoot them in the head. Can you do that for me? Can you do that for me? Okay. Alright. Okay. Let's go. Let's do this. Okay, <laughs> we're almost out. Wait, you're... Uh, it's, it's just a scratch. It's just a scratch. Wait, what are you doing? I'm sorry. I'm Open so the sorry. fucking door. Don't do this. Fuck. Fuck. I saved your fucking life. Shit. Come on then. Standing up. Keep standing up. Keep standing up. Well, I just want to thank you for whoever is reading this. If you have this book, then you already put a bullet in my head. I, uh, just wish you the best of luck. Thank you for teaching me more. <laughs>